Well, what we've seen here is something different. When you, when you look at all the individual impacts and then you look at how they interact, you see a bigger story and a more worrying picture about the plight of the oceans. What we're seeing is that the individual impacts interact and that the magnitude and scale of uh, problems for the ocean is so much greater than we probably originally thought. Uh, what we're also seeing is some of the changes that were perhaps predicted for the future are happening much, much sooner than we originally thought. Um, and it's that combination that I think is really a wake-up call for all of us in terms of how we need to better manage the ocean, have better governance for the ocean and take decisions with more ambition and more quickly. The oceans matter to us because we're all connected to the ocean. Uh, the ocean's been called the blue heart of the, the planet and that's very true. Every sip of water you take, every breath you take, links you in some way back to how the ocean supports us in our day-to-day -day life. It, for many people it's, it's really unseen and so they, they don't really worry about the plight of the ocean but when you, when you understand some of the more direct impacts to, to employment, to tourism, and then you, you see some of these, these less direct impacts of how the ocean supports us, it really is something that should matter to all of us.